the thing we fear most. But my only fear was what would happen if I remained alive. So I ran. I knew my father would try to stop me, and I knew others would come for me. Others whose only desire was money. But my longing was stronger. I wanted salvation. Of all the sensations, pain is the purest, without ambiguity. You feel it, or you don't. I had never experienced pain. But now I knew that I could visit it on others. A pain so strong, so intense, that it would purify the world. I had learned the truth, so I ran. The noise of the funeral didn't mask my assassin's approach. I hoped for a quick death, hoped it would be possible. So I stopped running. I had never experienced pain, and I so wanted to feel it now. I wasn't disappointed. place in another time. Mercenaries were coming from the west, told of my disappearance by a man, a betrayer who worked for my father. I had become a commodity that would be redeemed for cash. So, you trust him? Jin's are reliable. Yeah? How do you know? He helped me get out the streets years back, before he threw in with a triad. He's always got an angle, but I'd say he's a friend. When you're talking about this kind of money, you can lose friends in a hurry. And once we find the girl, we are talking about this kind of money, right, Hana? Wei Ming Lam is the daughter of the most powerful triad leader in Hong Kong. Don't worry, Glass. If we reach his little runaway first, Lam will pay us handsomely to get her back. Of course, he'll want us dead as well. There, that's it. The Lam building. I've got 11 o'clock straight up. Jin said he'd be on the pad. So much for Jin being reliable. I'll go find him.
Who are you waiting for? Please. Who are you planning to give this to, huh, Jin? I I don't know what you're talking about. Wrong answer. You said this deal was clean, Jin.
tick, tock, tick, tock, or you'll start to tick, Jin. Now, who are you waiting for? He's waiting for me. Get her! Wait, Anna! Don't leave me! Don't let this kill me! This was supposed to be a standard grab and hold, Jin. What the hell happened? Yeah, Lamb must have had me watched. He knows I'm tight for credit. You can turn this off, huh? The C4 is hardwired. I pull the blasting caps. You and I are misting the walls. Then don't do that. Uh, you alone? The glass is with me. Deke's at the hotel. This is a lot of trouble for one little runaway, Jin. It's the first time Wee Ming's ever been outside the Lamb's compound. She's all alone in the big bad world. Ripe for the taking. Hmm, there are three leads between each delay. Probably neutral, ground, and hot. So, outside the triad, who knows Wee Ming's gone? No one, Hannah, except for you. Which is what? 15% of 90 million, and you're in no position to negotiate. 90 mil? That's your asking price to, to guarantee her safe return? No guarantees. You know me better than that, Jin. Huh. Looks like I'll need to cut two of three wires between each delay without interrupting the circuit. And if you cut the wrong wires? Wrong wires, a wrong order, and boom. Uh, or I could just say screw the money and leave you here. I'll cut my fee. Uh, 12%. 10. 10%. Hana, huh? please. You owe me. Not after this, I don't. Damn it. What? What is it, Hannah? The timer, it just started. How much? How much is it say? Not a lot. <laughs> now shut up, Jin. I gotta think. Okay, okay. This could come in handy. About my fee, Hannah. I was under a lot of stress. Uh, explosive makes me nervous, eh? Give me the package, Jin. Uh, I made a flash disk with all your info on Weeming, including a good place to start looking for her. I locked it in the control panel near the neon sign before that jerk laid into me. And the key? With the jerk. All right, I'm going for the disk. You'd better go under and go deep. <laughs> yeah, you know, for a moment, I thought I was a dead man. <laughs>
Come on, Hana, hurry it up. What the? Oh, shit. Mr. Lamb, you've made two mistakes. First, I have enough resources to find my daughter without uninvited assistance. And second, you should have killed me by now.
My men inform me that this disc Jin left for you is encrypted. You will give me the code. I don't have it. Jin played me. He never told me about a code. Then take it. It's yours. You've paid for it with your life. Our business here is done. You may shoot. With pleasure! Come on! Head for the hotel. We'll need to warn Deke. There's a shitstorm coming. Excuse me, Mr. DeCourt. This package arrived for you. Cheers. So, were you both in? Getting hold of Weeming first may be the only way we get out of China alive. Uh, look, Glass, I signed on this gig for one reason, right? The money. We'll still get it. But Weeming is our bargaining chip with Mr. Lam and the Triad for our lives now. That means we find her first, find her fast, and drop anyone who tries to stop us. Well, that's something then. Right, I'm in. I guess we'll need this. A decryption spike? Here. Thanks, love. What'd you find? Only those deemed worthy will be spared. If Wei Ming is not back among us on the 17th at midnight, we will fail, our fortunes will fail, and our sacrifice will be meaningless. The Fungin cannot allow this to happen. Wei Ming must be found. Ah, Wei Ming's at the center of some big plans for Lam, eh? Ever hear of this group, the Fungins? No, but many Chinese aristocrats belong to shadow societies unknown to outsiders. After Wei Ming ran away, Mr. Lam found a correspondence that she had with a Madame Shen. <laughs> Wei Ming uh, may be trying to reach her now, and I believe you know where you can find Madame Chen. Hana. Madame Chen? Someone from my past. Is Jin right? Do you know where she is? Up the Haksik River, a town called Shanzi. Madame Chen has a restaurant there. Too right. Now we know why this Jin packer brought this deal to you then, Henny. You got a bleeding inside track. Looks like our odds of getting paid just got better, eh?
has a long shower, eh? She has a lot to wash off. Hey, Grace, look. Look! Anna, get up here now. What? What is it? Shanzi? No, it's just a fishing village. What a blatant mess. You know more than you've told us, Hannah. Why is this runaway so important? There. Hey, 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 that's her! I'll be damned. Hannah, secure the boat and get dressed. Deke, you're with me. This chase has just become a hunt. Too bloody right. wasn't very neighborly of you there, mate. You have no idea what you are up against. Ha ha! I find this funny then. How's this for a punchline? Looks like you've had a rough night, eh mate? We mean wait! Wash off the blood. 
It is the blood that drove them mad. The blood that makes them demons. What caused this? Oh, oh not what. Who? Yesterday, a boy was fishing by himself and fell on the rocks. His leg was cut, and he would have bled to death had he had not been found by a young woman, a stranger. We mean? She was covered in his blood when she brought him back to the village. We were, of course, grateful and gathered to meet her. That is when the madness began. I tried to run for the train. Train? <laughs> yes. A military train comes once a week to secure rations of rice from our granary. It is still there now, but the soldiers are afraid of the demons. They shoot anyone who gets near, all because of this girl, we mean. <laughs> Do you know where I can find her? No, but I know where she belongs. Hell! <laughs> Too long, Deke. I've killed men for much less. Yeah, right. So, so, what you got, eh? Military supply train. Probably loaded with weapons. Well, I'd better have a closer look then. At the train, that is. Hey, Hannah, what is it? Chinese superstition. They're offerings, gifts for the dead. When you burn these, whatever they represent is transported to them while they're waiting in hell to be judged. Hmm. I've never seen paper figures used before. You know, that bloke was burning these paper lads before I popped them. I'll check out the locomotive. Meet me there. Right, boss fella.
flesh burn that fast, eh? you, you don't work for my father. So, you are a mercenary? Yeah, the name's Glass. So what am I worth, Mr. Glass? Ninety million in cold and hard. And our lives for yours. So your daddy's not too keen on independent operators. Hmm. I wish I could help you, Mr. Glass. But I cannot. My father has sheltered me from the truth my whole life. Finally, I have a chance to change my destiny by reaching Madame Chen. And no one, not my father or you, will interfere with that. Sorry, little girl, but you're coming with me. And I can be very persuasive. I never wanted this to happen. I didn't know that blood was the catalyst. I was just trying to help. I'm not evil, Mr. Glass. But I've learned that I have the power to release it in others. Uncontrolled and unconfined evil. Oh, Have I gotten into?
Just what I've always wanted, eh? A train filled with weapons. Brilliant. Any sign of glass? Not yet. But he's a big boy, eh? <laughs> I'll take care of this lot, yeah? You get this train rolling.
Are you alright, Dee? My bleeding tray. It's probably worth more than this wee bird we're after, eh? And it's all in the drink. It might still be useful, Deke. Watch him, hon. I'm gonna have a look. I do not know how to drive. Take me to Shanxi, Mr. Grass, and once I've seen Madame Chen, I am yours. You can return me to my father and collect your precious money. What happened here? Who are you? I'm hoping Madame Chen can help me answer those very questions. Shall we get your friends? This is it? Madam Chen's? Yeah. I was hoping I'd never see this place again. Okay, I'll go inside with Wee Ming. Anna, stay here with Deke and cover our best. I'm coming with you. Not yet. Just in case Madam Chen recognizes you. And that is a possibility, right? Yes. Okay. And you, we have a deal, right? I would rather be returned to my father in one piece. So once I have seen Madam Chen, I will do as we agree. You will get your money, Mr. Grass. Good girl. Let's go. Hey. What happened back at that village, eh, Hannah? Well, you, you, you think there's an answer inside that building? Inside those walls, there's only pain and despair. There. That's her. Yes, child. I am here to see you, Madam Chen. I am Wee Ming. You have been expected, child. And Mr. Glass, I expected you to be dead by now. Oh, damn it.
Hmm. Me neither, love. Check the front. I'll pop around back and have a peek, yeah? Right. This is promise. Better give it a try, then. What do you want? Working girls only. They've got her. Lam and Madame Chen took Wee Ming and tried to put the hurt on me. I say it's time we exit. What about Wee Ming? We can't leave her. Lam's not going to pony up any cash now. We've lost, Hana. Let's get Deke and go. I'm not leaving without her, Glass. I know what happens to girls here. All right. Ten minutes, then I'm a ghost. I'll check this way. See what's upstairs.
Okay, come in. You, get back to work. Yes, sorry. Now quick moves there, Sheila. <gasps> Hannah? Jeez, nice shoes. Not now, Deke. Laminous men are all over the place. They've got Wee Ming. So we get glass and bugger out then, eh? Negative. We're gonna get Wee Ming first. This is still business, right, love? Not anymore, Deke. Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> A -a wrong room. Sorry. Come on, out, now!
Hello.
I beg you, please don't hurt me. I'll do anything you want. Please. So this was your secret, huh? Where's the girl? I don't know. I don't know anything. Take your things and get out before you get hurt. Everybody gets one chance with me. If I see you again, I'll kill you. Think you can extort me, Mr. Glass? Come between me and my daughter? Separate me from my flesh? Well, Mr. Glass, how does it feel to be separated from you? <laughs> you there!
Wee Ming? Wee Ming? I'm looking for Wee Ming. Go on, get out! Save yourselves. Yes. <laughs> Sweet Mei Yun. My child, you've returned after all these years. Mei Yun is dead. You killed her when you brought me here. What have you done with <laughs> Wei Ming? She's left with her father. <laughs> this cannot be true. Wei Ming, in time I hope to tell you the truth. You used this evil pact with Yim Lao Wang to bring you wealth and power. But me? You don't scare me. No.
So, you ready to leave? Help me down from here and <laughs> I'll give you a discount on my finder's fee. <laughs> Your old man. I was surprised he didn't finish me off. I think he wants to kill me slowly. I am sorry. Is this the work of Satan? No. Not Satan or the devil. In our culture, he is known as Yim La Wang, the king of hell. <coughs> we believe that when we die, we are sent to hell. Our souls may have to wait years, decades, before we are finally granted our moment with Yim La Wang. That is why you burn offerings to the dead? Yes, to provide comfort for these souls while they wait. But throughout the ages, the Fongans have made a pact with Yim La Wang. <coughs> offerings of paper that should be made real in hell are instead made real on earth. That is how my father has accumulated such great wealth. He truly has money to burn. And what does Yim La Wong get in return? Me. Two weeks ago, my father tried to tell me the truth that I had long suspected. That I was different. That I had a higher power. That on the final hour of the final day of my 18th year on Earth, I will fulfill my destiny. I'm not running away, Mr. Grass. I'm trying to return home. And if I can't find a way back to hell in the next few hours, then there will be no stopping what follows. Mr. Grass? Mr. Grass? I'm very impressed with your audacity, child. Or is it a lack of emotion masquerading as courage? Hmm. Is that how you can kill so many, Mayun? Be without emotion? Like when you used your body to escape me, yes? <laughs> but poor little Mayun. <laughs> Jin wouldn't help you leave until he'd had his taste. I always <laughs> thought you were bitch from hell. And as you die, take some small comfort in knowing that you were right. <laughs> Ha ha ha!
have no idea the hell that awaits you. The hell that awaits the world once we make flowers into full potential. Soon you'll know me. So very soon. My name is Hana! I am a perfect mirror, Hana. When they look at me, they see the true evil within themselves. An evil that can no longer be suppressed. An evil given form and purpose. This is a one-way trip, Hana. I've come this far. Might as well get my money's worth. Why did you suspect Madame Chen? She knew my father. She never changed. When I found out the truth about his wealth, I figured maybe she was interested in more than money. Everybody wants something Yim La Wong can offer. That's what makes him powerful. But why you? I do not know yet, but I intend to find out. There are horrors waiting for us here, Hana. I can sense them. I can feel their desire to reach us, to reach me. It's like I'm coming home. Don't worry, Weeming. We'll stay close. Oh! Weeming?
are you? You've done to me, Mei Yun. See how failure is punished. You did this to yourself, Chen. Your greed, your vanity. Perhaps. Maybe I hurt you in the past, Mei Yun. But I can help you in the now. What are you talking about? My daughter. You may have seen her already, yes. Take this to her. She is alone and afraid, and I cannot reach her. This is my torment. Take the doll. My daughter knows much about you. Take the doll and I will help you when you return.
here I brought you your doll. This isn't my doll. This is our doll. <gasps> oh, my. This can't be. Don't you recognize us, Mayun? You were so happy at this age, remember? Then Mommy and Daddy died, and all we had left was this doll. You're me. Yes, before you became Hana. Before you had to run from your past. But you can't run from me. I'm always with you. And I have a secret that will help you. Tell me. You know it, too. It's in your mind. Unless you're afraid to find it. I'm not afraid. Good. Do you ever miss me, Hana? Do, do you ever miss being Mayun? Yes. Then here's your chance to find us again. Listen, Hana. As a child, we flowered like a branch under the rain. As a child, we flowered like a branch under the rain. In youth, her beauty attracted the desire of many men. In adulthood, we marry and give birth to many children. In death, our withered body crumbles into bone and dust. I told you, Hana. The answer was inside our head. I'm not afraid. A gift. A thank you, Mayun, for looking in on my daughter. Did you like what you see? I'm not your daughter. Oh, but you were once my girl, Mayun. Mayun is dead. You killed her. My name is Hana. Nothing was taken from you that you weren't willing to give, Mayun. You fool only yourself to believe differently. <laughs>
beautiful, isn't it? Oh, put that away. You cannot kill what does not live. <laughs> Are you Yimla Wong? Me? The king of hell? No, no, no. Or what I am is not important. What matters only is what I can do for you. Where's Wei Ming? When it is time, you will find her. And Yim Wong as well. <laughs> Take this and see my brother. Now go. We are preparing for a funeral.
Sunlong, Dragon of Mountain. I am Forlong, Dragon of Fire. I am Talong, Dragon of Earth. I am Jinong, Dragon of Heaven.
See? Very good. God had nothing to do with this. What you see before you was made every time I pulled the trigger. Only to see your true self, Glass, and you'll understand. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Vic. Sorry? <laughs> do you realize what they do to killers like us here, eh? You're bleeding sorry? You brought this deal to me. I trusted you to cover the angles, yeah? Do you enjoy your last breath, Glass? Because your eternity is about to start, and it's gonna be horrifying. for this. You have my word. gave me this. Yes, the willow. But you only get half the tree. Mm. To grow, it must be in the light and the dark. Leaves to the white sun, roots to the black, cold ground. You cannot stop that which is destined.
Weeming, I'm here. I'm over here. Weeming, behind you. No. Yeah. Glass, you're alive. But why? Why'd you do Look that? Look at me, Anna. You see what happened to me? What about Deke, huh? She was the cause. I'm sorry, Hana, but I had to end this. Only I can end huh? this. Huh? Huh? I told you, Hana. I need your help to return to hell. Let her speak. You draw on me, Hana? You better be prepared for the consequences. With all that we've witnessed, if we don't help her, then the world as we know it ceases. But maybe she can stop this prophecy no. from being fulfilled. Don't make me drop you, Hana. Hana! Hana! I'm going after her, Glass. Shoot me if you must.
Prefer if you address me by my true name? <laughs> Jim Lao Wong. Yes, Hana. I am the king of hell. You want answers? Yes. Hell is full, Hana. <laughs> As fast as they can be judged, Morcom, they stand before my mirror, a mirror so perfect it reflects their soul. And they are transformed into what they see. But I can no longer condemn them into the levels of hell, because there is no room left. <laughs> Wee Ming is my solution. When men look into her eyes, they will also see their souls. It will be as if they looked into my mirror. You've set me up from the beginning. I was so disappointed that you never questioned why Wee Ming's power transformed others in your presence while you remained unaffected. The rooftop. Your blood. <laughs> the only antidote for Wee Ming's gift. But why? I was testing you, Mei Yun. <sighs> I need someone to look after Wee Ming while she completes her destiny. Someone without mercy. What have you done with her? Where's Wee Ming? Wee Ming is back in hell. You've <laughs> lost. You think this is hell? Oh, Mei Yun, you cannot begin to imagine. We've come this far. Help me get the rest of the way, Hana. I can stop the prophecy. I can do this. My heart is strong. Oh, Wee Ming. You have no heart. I created you the same way as Lamb's wealth. You began as a burning piece of paper. Right here. And you, Lamb, have failed me. No! 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 Let's kill them all! No. I believe Weeping Glass, and I won't let you stop her. Don't get in my way, Hana. <laughs> Weeping Glass, and I won't let you stop her. Don't get in my way, Hana. Goodbye, my friend. Hana, delay Yim La Wong until I am gone. Hurry!
change, Hana. I hope I don't see you again. Farewell. The prophecy! You've ruined everything! Not yet, Jim. <gasps> there. Now I've ruined everything. I believe Weeping Glass, and I won't let you stop her. Don't get in my way, Hana. I never expected that we would end like this, Hana. You may have fooled Hana, but not me. So, Mr. Glass, how do you like me now?
I killed everything that was left in the brothel. When I couldn't shoot, I burned. I figured it was the least I could do for Hana and Deke. I knew things would be looking up. In fact, I felt like I had a world of opportunities in the palm of my hand. Don't get in my way, Hana. I believe weeping. You better be right, Hana. I know. Mayun, you've come a long way to disappoint me. Go! Get to the tile! I'll take care of you! I will repay you for the sacrifices you have made. And I will never forget you, Hana. You ruined everything! You meddling bitch! Until you met me, you were just a whore! That's no way to talk to my friend, even if you are a king. Hey, mate. Anna? I'll be there. I seem to have taken one on the noggin. I can't remember much. You kept your word, Weeming. You were paid the sacrifice. Right. So, how'd we make out on this deal, then? I'd say we did okay. Wouldn't you, Glass? Yeah, we did fine. Just fine.